In today's video, I'll be comparing the old engineer versus the new engineer versus the brand new buffed engineer to see which one could get the furthest on endless mode in toilet tower defense. I've done a video similar to this in the past where I compared the old engineer versus the new engineer, but obviously Tedalanthic just buffed the engineer once again. So make sure you watch this until the end to see how much further the brand new buffed engineer can get and subscribe so we can hit 200,000 subs before the end of the year. We are super close for sure. Anyway, let me equip the engineer cameraman right now. And obviously a Santa TV man. And let's test them out in game right now. Here we go. And yeah, we're going to be fully auto skipping the entire time just like what I said. But for now, we'll just place a few Santas down and then we'll worry about placing down the engineer cameraman. It's already been buffed like three or four times, bro. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I remember back in the day when it only had 50,000 health on it. Anyway, as soon as it skips one more time, we'll definitely place down the engineer cameraman. So yeah, let's place one right there. And that's all we really need for now. So yeah, let's just continue upgrading my farms as well. But yeah, on level 1, it still spawns the camera rover with 750 health on it. But I remember, it actually used to only have 500 on level 1. And I actually just noticed this. It's actually worth it to get it to level 2 before placing any more. And it's even better to get it to level 3 as well. Because as you can see, I can get 6,000 extra ally health. Whereas if I place two of these for 400, I only get about 1,500. So yeah, as soon as we get this last farm to level 5, I'll definitely start upgrading our engineer some more. But unfortunately, you can only place a total of 4 down for now. Which definitely sucks. But yeah, as soon as it skips one more time, we'll upgrade this thing to level 3. So there we go. And we might as well get it to level 4, and even level 5. So yeah, hopefully once one more spawns in, we can clear out all these toilets incoming. And it actually looks like it spawned in just in time. That was way too close for sure. Oh yeah, once partner experiments updates. And there we go. Now that we have all of our Santas at level 7, I think I'm just gonna max out a bunch of them. Because it would take about 11 or 12 waves just to bring back my money. Making it not really worth it to upgrade these Santas anymore for now. So there's the engineer to level 6. And I'm pretty sure if we upgrade it one more time, it'll actually be maxed out. So yeah, as soon as it skips one more time, we'll definitely test that theory. But yeah, now it's already better than what it used to be at 75,000 health. I mean, it only used to get up to 50,000, so this is already better. But now once we upgrade it one more time, it'll literally be triple as good. And yeah, there it is with 150,000 health on it. This one little tank can literally take care of all of this health over here, I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe not everything, but definitely a lot. Anyway, let's place the second one down right in next to it, right about here. And let's just instantly get this thing to max level, right then and there. So yeah, there's two out of the four fully maxed out. And we might as well place the third and fourth one down right away. And we'll actually have the Sigma one in the front. Bro is literally the leader of these three. So there's our third one to level three. Well, not level three, but level seven. And bro, just look how many Sigma tanks we have. They literally shred through everything, bro. They have no chance against us right now. We are absolutely cooking right now. But yeah, as soon as it skips one more time, we'll be able to max out our last engineer. So let's do exactly that. And now we can't place any more, unfortunately. Meaning what we have placed is all we can do. But honestly, so far so good. We've already made it to wave 25 and literally no tanks have died yet. I mean, some are definitely low here, but it's not too bad. And never mind, it looks like I spoke a little bit too soon. We've lost a few tanks. But either way, we are absolutely cooking right now. I mean, these tanks keep on moving slightly up and up and up. Oh wait, maybe not anymore. They're about to get completely wiped out. Oh no, guys, this is not good. Okay, wait, never mind. It actually looks like we cleared up pretty much everything without losing too many. And now they're all the way to this corner. And we always have a constant flow of these tanks as well. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to at least wave 35, maybe even wave 40. But we'll see, I guess. And here we go, we made it all the way to wave 30. On this wave, we do have the dual flying buzzsaw toilet, which is definitely a pretty healthy toilet as well. But no matter, we literally have almost 2 million health stacked up here, probably. If not more. So yeah, I am not worried at all. In fact, it's gonna die in 3, 2, 1, and absolutely obliterated. Literally no chance whatsoever, bro. And yeah, we are absolutely cooking right now. We are not losing any more tanks. We have just so many built up. I mean, literally nothing is even getting close to touching us either. Making it all but better. Okay, never mind. It actually looks like I spoke a little bit too soon. 
we may start losing a lot of tanks right now. There's just so much health incoming. So yeah, let's see if we get completely wiped out on this wave. Because we are definitely going to lose a ton. And dang, we literally lost all but one, bro. That is insane. Just like that, we lost pretty much all of them in the front. And we're about to lose the rest to these giant blind toilets as well. So yeah, RIP for sure. But yeah, we made it all the way to wave 35. So this is the wave that I thought we were gonna get. But we may not even get this wave as there's tons of toilets with a lot of health still. So yeah, it is definitely not looking great. I mean, in order to get wave 35, we have to be all these boss toilets, these two welders, the forklifts, and the giant glasses toilets. As well as everything else in front. But yeah, we'll see if we're able to, I guess. But yeah, it is definitely not looking good. We're down to our last four tanks now. And now we're down to our last three. Luckily, a few more are spawning in, but it is definitely not going to be enough for all of this. So yeah, we are absolutely fried. In fact, we lose in three, two, one, and GG's. Yeah, wave 32. I guess that's not super bad, but it's also not really that good. So yeah, that is the old version of the engineer on the endless mode. So yeah, I'll have my editor put a leaderboard up on screen for all three versions of the engineer cameraman. So obviously right now, the old engineer is in first place with 32 waves beaten. But now let me actually hop into partner experiments for the new engineer. So let's do that right now. So obviously now I am in partner experiments, but just like the last one, I'll equip a Santa TV man and the new engineer cameraman. And yeah, let's see how far this unit can get on endless mode as well. Here we go. And just like last round, we'll be fully auto skipping the entire time. And we'll do the same exact starting loadout just like the last round. So obviously on wave one, I placed two Santa TV men down. And then on wave two, I placed the third one down. On wave three, I got both of these Santas to level two. And then on wave four, I actually placed my first engineer cameraman down right about here. So let's do exactly that right now. And yeah, we only took 10 damage. I guess I'll take it. Now we'll definitely also upgrade a Santa TV man to level 2, so now all of them are level 2. And already compared to the 750L, that just still has the same amount. So yeah, level 1, it doesn't change at all. Anyway, let me upgrade another Santa to level 3. And now I'm actually pretty sure we can get all of them to level 3, so let's just do exactly that. And now let me just also upgrade it to level 2. And then another farm to level 3. Or not level 3, but level 4. So yeah, now it's still spawning in allies with 2000 health and has a 15 second cooldown. But yeah, back to upgrading my Santas for now. Now we have 1 as level 5 and 2 as level 3. On wave 9, we can get the second one to level 5. And then by wave 10, we can get our last Santa to level 5 too. Now I'm definitely going to start upgrading this Engineer Cameraman to level 3 and then 4. So as soon as it skips, let's do exactly that. So there's level 3, and there's level 4. We are definitely about to take a lot of damage if one of these do not spawn in right now. So we have to wait. Come on, come on. Okay, good. One of them did end up spawning in. That is definitely going to hard clutch for us for sure. Like, look, that literally take care of everything. Well, back to upgrading my Santas once again. Okay, now that we have two farms as level 7, I'm definitely going to upgrade this guy to level 5. So I'm pretty sure as soon as this gets one more time, we'll be able to do exactly that. But still on level 5, it'll still have the same exact stats. So there we go. So yeah, on level 5, it still has the same exact stats as the 20 second cooldown and 35,000 ally health. And still zero ally DPS. But yeah, now let's just get our last farm to level 7. And we'll definitely start upgrading this guy a bit more as well. So there's level 6, and we definitely need another one to spawn in or else we'll die again. So there we go, perfect. And as soon as it skips one more time, we might as well max it out. Perfect again. So obviously this level is a lot different than the last one. Because now it still has a 20 second cooldown but has 250,000 health. Rather than the 150,000 it used to have. And now it does 7,500 damage a second rather than the 5,000 it used to as well. But yeah, there's our first farm maxed out, and the second one. And finally, once we kill all these toilets right here, we will be able to officially max out the last one just like that. Obviously, now we'll place a bunch more. So let's actually just place all four that we can place in total. So there's two placed, three placed, and all four placed for now. So obviously, now we can't place any more down, unfortunately. But now let's just max out the second one. So there's level two, three, four five six and finally level seven so there's two out of four maxed out and now let's work on maxing out the third one so there's level two three four five six and finally level seven again 
Obviously, now we still have one more to max out. But instead of just reading out the levels, let's talk about how it changes in aesthetic. So here's what it looks like as level 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6. And then finally, here it is, fully maxed out. So yeah, there's really not much else for me to do. But now we're actually four waves away from the wave that we got to last time, which is obviously wave 32. So we are definitely doing very good for sure. My guess is that we'll probably make it to around wave 35, but we'll have to see. Obviously, these laser crusher tanks with us are still making it further and further every single second. But now we're actually one wave away from wave 30. And yeah, here we go against the wave 30 boss, which is obviously the flying dual boss out toilet just like the last round. Still, nothing has touched these tanks whatsoever. But my guess is, just like last time, that will probably change by wave 32. But yeah, there it is right there, and it's gonna get deleted right then and there. Way too easy. But yeah, we probably have close to 10 built up over this way. And like I keep on saying, they just keep on inching closer and closer to the end. But yeah, here we go. We just now made it to wave 32. If we theoretically beat all of this and the next wave, this unit will officially be better than the old version of itself. But just like last round, these guys all took out all of our tanks. So let's see if it's the same way for this round as well. So far, nothing really has touched these, but yeah, now it's definitely changing as well. In fact, yeah, we definitely took a lot of them down. Now there's probably only five or so left. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is officially the new best round. So yeah, not too bad at all. And yeah, there goes the bunch of them as well. Again, my guess is that we'll probably make it to wave 35, but we'll have to see. We still have to kill all these boss toilets right here, as well as these welder toilets and these forklift toilets for this to be the new best run. But if toilets start passing it just like these mutant toilets right here, this may not be able to happen. So yeah, now it's just down to this last welder toilet, and it will end up dying in 3, 2, 1, and... There it goes. But yeah, like I said, these boss toilets are officially not in the front anymore, meaning they won't even be targeted that much anymore as well. But we are only two waves away from wave 40 now, but it's looking like we are definitely dead before then. And again, all we need to do is kill all these boss toilets right here for this to officially be wave 35. But with the amount of toilets that are passing by right now, it's not looking like that'll happen. So yeah, we did just make it to wave 40 now, so that is definitely a big W for sure. But it's looking like we may end up just dying here because these claw toilets literally pass over these right here. Definitely an L, but there's really not much else I can do about it. So I guess we finally lose in 3, 2, 1, and bro, now these are clinging onto these toilets. That's actually super annoying. So it's going to be a second or two before we die, but now we lose in 3, 2, 1, and GG's. Yeah, wave 36, that's not too bad at all. Back to lobby to update the leaderboard though. So obviously that does move the old engineer down to only 32 waves in second place, and that puts the new engineer at 36 waves in first place. We still do have one final test with the upgraded new engineer, which obviously just got buffed in this most recent update. I won't reveal the stats quite yet, so you guys will just have to wait for that. Instead though, let me equip a Santa TV man and an engineer cameraman, and let's see exactly how far I can get. Here we go. So yeah, again, we'll be fully auto skipping just like the last two rounds, and we'll do the exact same starting as the last round too. So there's two farms on level 1 is level 1 on level 1, and there's all three placed by level 2, and now 2 is level 2, and finally let's place the engineer cameraman down in 3, 2, 1, let's place it. So yeah, now it actually has a thousand base health, compared to the 758 used to. And finally by wave 10 we can get all of our senses to level 5, meaning we can also upgrade the engineer cameraman. So already on level 2 you can see that it has a big difference where it only costs $300 to upgrade. And actually by wave 3 it already has 10,000 ally health too. So there we go, let's upgrade it to level 3. It looks like on level 4 it still has the same stats. And there we go, now we have one farm as level 7, 6, and 5. I think I am definitely going to also upgrade it to level 4 now too. And I think as soon as it skips one more time, we'll also get it to level 5. So there we go, let's do exactly that. Now we can also get our last farm to level 7. And now let's just max out the rest of our Santas. So there's the first one maxed out, and the second one. And finally, obviously as soon as this skips one more time, we can fully max ourselves out. Perfect. Now let's definitely focus on maxing out the Engineer. But its last two upgrades are definitely very expensive for sure. So there's it as level 6. And finally, once we kill a few more toilets, we can fully max it out. Perfect. 
when Mexico has the 20 second cooldown, spawns allies with a million health, and those allies do 10,000 damage a second. So yeah, this unit is absolutely crazy now for sure. Like look at that range, but it reaches all the way from here to here. That's crazy. And I'll have my editor put a side by side comparison of all three of the stats fully maxed out. So yeah, there's definitely a big difference between the three. But now let me obviously place the last two down. So there's one placed, two placed, and there's all four officially fully placed down. And still, we can't place any more down, unfortunately. So yeah, now let's just start maxing out the second one. So there's level two, three, four, five, six, and finally level seven. And now let's, mer and now let's work on the third one out of the four. So there's level two, three, four, five, six and there's the third one fully maxed out so yeah a ton of these tanks are spawning in right now and we actually just made it to wave 32 which is what the old engineer got to so yeah for now let's just continue upgrading this engineer right here so there's level two three four five six and finally there's all four fully maxed out and we're actually just maxed out by wave 36 which is the wave that the last one got to. But yeah, toilets are definitely starting to make it further and further now, so we may end up losing soon. But I'm honestly not too worried whatsoever. I mean, we literally have like 20 million health built up over this way, so yeah, we shouldn't lose anytime soon. But yeah, once we kill out everything over this way, this will officially be the new better run. Which would mean shocker, obviously this one is going to be better. I mean, it's literally over four times better than the last one. But yeah, like, look, all of these toilets are just getting absolutely lasered down. They're not even getting anywhere close to these tanks over this way. But yeah, now we're one wave away from wave 40 again. So hopefully we can make it there this time as well. But the main test is these claw toilets right here. If both of these do end up making it past, we're just automatically dead. As we do obviously only have 240 base health right now. So we still need to do 290,000 damage to these. So I'm a little bit worried. Because obviously if we don't kill, we're just automatically dead. Okay, wait, never mind. It does look like we are able to kill it, so that's good. But yeah, just look how much health we have built up over this way. We are definitely cooking for sure. Like, watch, this guy's gonna get absolutely obliterated instantly. But yeah, we just made it to wave 40 with the glitch tool as our next boss. So there it is right there. And watch, we're gonna absolutely laser through it in 3, 2, 1, and yeah, there it goes, absolutely disintegrated. But yeah, this is officially the new best run. But well, let's just find out exactly how much further it can get. And dang, okay, it looks like we're starting to lose all of our tanks in the front, unfortunately. In fact, yeah, the rest are gonna go right about now. So yeah, there goes our main pack. But luckily, we still have a few sprinkled in every so often. And then we also have a bunch over in this corner, too. But yeah, my guess is that this will probably count for around wave 42 or even 43. But we'll definitely end up finding out soon. But yeah, we are definitely dead here. I mean, just look how much health is over this way. Especially considering all these tanks right here are gonna get absolutely obliterated any second now. In fact, uh, yeah, there they all go. So yeah, I guess we are officially dead in 3, 2, 1, and uh, yeah, it does look like it is GG's at last. Wave 41 beats it though, not too bad. So yeah, I think the engineer is definitely at a solid state now. It's definitely not going to get buffed anytime soon. But here's the final and updated leaderboard. We have the buffed engineer at wave 41, which is obviously in first place. We have the new engineer at number 2 with 36 waves. And then finally, the old engineer at only 32 waves and dead last. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Definitely subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Watch another video while you're at it. And I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Rich Clan on top. And uh, yeah, peace out everybody.